Okay, what is Chambers of My Heart? What is that? Hey guys, it's your humble host, or Kayla if you prefer, so I'm back with another video. Um, I know it's been a little bit. I've, again, as always, just been kind of busy. Anyway, I kind of wanted to bring something to your attention, whether or not it actually amounts to anything or is a big deal that has yet to be seen. Um, I have people suddenly reporting copies of the post from the Save James page that I put on my community tab. One of them had to do with Jazz Jennings, who was Munchausen by proxy by his mother. Um, anyway, this is just a post from a month ago. Jazz Jennings was a minor child, mutilated on live TV, and read, I am Jazz to James at three to four years old. Dr. Marcy Bauer from the disgraced Wampath clan admitted that putting Jazz Jennings on puberty blockers was a gross error, rendering Jazz a eunuch. So, this is, like, a copy and paste from the Save James page. Um... I have people now starting to report these, which is kind of weird because there hasn't really been a whole lot of activity um, when I post on my social media in regards to Save James. So I'm not entirely sure what has suddenly prompted this, um, but I have like one comment here. Hi, fun reporting you for harassment and misinformation today. Much love from a scary trans person. Um, another said, oh, get a life. She's happy. She's an adult now and is still being herself. Misinformation and harmful posts like this do more damage than anything. Um, and these are just people kind of coming out of the woodwork, which is a little bit weird. And then so I started to take screenshots and uh, post them and again, use the Save James hashtag. The gifts and go. The uh, document site with documents before May 29th of 2024, before everything was sealed away. Hmm, people are trying to report my channel for copies of the Save James post I put in my community tab. And then the usual shtick. Um, and then you had like 12 comments on this, which was really kind of weird. So again, I'm not sure what suddenly drawing the eyeballs in my corner It's whatever. Um, good on them. Hope that child gets to be who they are without all this nonsense. As a trans adult, I'm so glad my journey wasn't yapped about by strange adults online. They're not reporting you for nothing. Yes, and for good reason. I was not surprised in the slightest when I scrolled down and found out you're a daddy of five groupie. Um, that, that's another thing. So, cause there's another comment here. You're a daddy of five fan too. Good Lord. I better keep the reporting or keep the reporting up. So, um, okay, so, funny enough, uh, during the Dick Manana stuff, I actually had somebody freak out on their Twitter when they, because they went through my social media, and they're like, oh, good lord, the same people who support Vic also support Jeff Younger, or, and supported the Save James stuff, so... Yeah, which I found to be a little bit funny, because it's like, okay, whatever... Um, the Daddy 05 stuff is all on my channel for you guys to see, so I was the beating heart of that when it happened quite a few years ago, and then I got shown what really happened, and so, yeah, I, I don't have nothing more to say to that, to be honest. Um, yes, because your obsession with this kid's personal journey is crazy, um, considering how I've met the boys, seen what Anne is doing to them, um, literally had them, or rather the boys were attached to their dad, especially James, mimicking Jeff, doing things unprompted, there were stuff that I wish I had recorded, um, hindsight's twenty twenty, but I thought at the time was too personal, I've written articles about this, um, I can post the link in the description, uh, the one that I wrote, 2019, 2020, I want to say November 2019, I wrote it, and then I wrote one, I want to say last month, um, that references the old article as well, so I could put those in the description as well, not a big deal, um, 
So it's not, let me finish reading this, must be hard enough for them with how their parents are acting, trans lives matter, especially trans youth do better. Well, here's the thing, the boys aren't trans, usually when you get a trans kid, they're usually brainwashed. So, and that's what Anna's been doing, taking them to pride parades when they were younger, um, putting a bunch of LGBTQ+, plus ABCZ propaganda in the room. So, I mean, no, geez, geez, no, there's there's a lot of stuff that has happened, and no, I just people are not going to stop talking about it. I'm not going to stop talking about it. Um, so, I guess there's a mini flying campaign against my channel, which is really, really weird. Um, so I'm not entirely sure. I, I honestly, to me, it's not necessarily a big deal. I mean, whatever happens is going to happen. Um, in regards to the Save James case, I know what I have been told, and I don't care if people make fun of me. I don't give a shit. I know what I've been told by God about the case. I got told to get ready um, now a little under a year ago. And I have been dealing with things in my house since then because I did get ready. Um, and I am, for the most part, ready. Um, and then certain stuff has come to pass. Uh, whether they're small things or big things that I've gotten um, or I felt it discernment that God was talking to me about. He had stuff about the crowd strike in regards to how it affected St. James because that did um, you had other stuff. You could see the post on the Save James page. So, and that's something else too, because me and a few others who are on the page were talking about this. I want to say maybe a month back, maybe two months, to where when stuff gets posted on the page, it's not just fluff. There are times where that page is quiet for weeks on end, just because, like, well, it's. We don't need to say anything right now. No one's being told to say anything. And when I say no one's being told to say anything, what I mean is no one is feeling led by God to say anything. Just to clarify, because you got some idiots who still think Jeff runs the page when he doesn't. Just an FYI. I'm so tired of that garbage. Anyway, um, so there are times where that page will sit quiet for weeks on end. And we'll put a post to go, hey, there hasn't really been any updates. We're still here. We haven't forgot about you guys supporting us. There's been a couple posts like that. I know in my neck of the woods, it's just been one, I don't want to say one fight after the other, but I, it has not been easy on my end right now. I had a big situation. Well, I don't want to say big. It turned into something big where I almost got knocked out of my chair and it's being speculated that it was over a transgender-related topic that I had somebody try. That's the speculation, that it's over the topic that was brought up. Somebody tried to knock me out of my spot and almost succeeded had I not fought back. Like, I really had to fight back. Um, and I won't go into it because that, God, that lasted over a week and it, my anxiety was so bad. I was getting pains in my chest. Um, so technically speaking, I have been diagnosed with anxiety, um, by my home state, but I don't take anything for it. And it just, it's whatever. Um, usually I can deal with that particular situation it was especially difficult. And it had, of course, was over the trans shit. And now I got a bunch of eyeballs, well, I don't want to say a bunch of like a few people, trying to, I guess, mass report my channel or mass report my post. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I guess it's a wait and see if anything pops up in my Gmail throughout the week or next week. As I said, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. I'm not too worried about it. I like my channel. I like my social media. I haven't really been active on it. Um, I'm so chambers of my heart at the end of the day, even if my channel somehow gets freaking nuked from space on my social media, um, I'm still me. Um, so, and I'm still where God wants me to be in regards to the St. James stuff. Um, 
So, and I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do regardless if I lose my social media, if I lose other things. I got told last year of December what, to get ready and that there was a price that we, that's going to be paid. I don't know what that price is yet. I have no idea. I'm not going to speculate on it. There's no need to. I may not know until the second of. I have no idea. Um, I just know it has been difficult since being told to get ready. And even before then, um, with certain things. Um, so, but I'm going to keep doing me. I guess these people are going to keep blogging and reporting, whatever. Um, and let me tell you, let me show you something else real quick, because this doesn't have to do with the comments. If I can find this real quick for you guys, um, because you guys are aware of the uh, cast report um, that effectively um, got the uh, quack medicine shut down in the UK and was released by uh, Dr. Cass. I forget what her first name is. I apologize. Um, but there is a, uh, oh, where is this? Because I came across this article at work. Um, <laughs> they want to do this in a month. That's hilarious. So let me show this to you real quick because this isn't the exact article I was looking for, but it kind of like alludes to the original what I read. BMA to undertaking evaluation of the cast review on gender identity services for children and young people. So they the article that I read, and I'm having issues finding it right now because I came across it at work. Um so they want to evaluate the cast report in a month when this cast report took four years, four years to go over everything. You have doctors quitting um, what's called the British Medical Association. So you have this stupid union who are pissed because now they have lost a huge profit because that's what transgender medicine is is it's a piggy bank for these doctors and big pharma. Um, oh, this is, oh, this is something new. Okay, yeah, we're doing this live. Woo okay, so this is also something else. Witch Hunt, BMA tries to identify who leaked plan opposition to cast review. Ah, ah, they had a whistleblower in their group. That's hilarious. Okay, so you have people who are trying to fight back against the cast report. It's not going to happen. That research took four years, and then you had Wompath, which that crap goes all the way to the White House with our, what do you even call, what is his title? Health Surgeon General? Freaking Mr. Rachel Levine? Whatever the hell he wants to call himself? Um, I could go on, but you now have the BMA um, trying to... Oh, Lordy. Um, trying to pose the cast review. The cast review is what got the quack medicine in the UK shut down. So there's going to be, here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. You have, you're going to have a lot of backlash. We're seeing it. The Olympics got tainted. Um, even the paraplegic Olympics um, got tainted with this trans stuff because you have a quote unquote. A uh, trans woman who competed and a uh, paraplegic guy prayed around as a woman. So there is going to be a lot of backlash. And we're seeing it now. Uh, this election campaign is going to be a circuit. So I, me, I'm going to be tuning a lot of it out just because, you know, I like my mental sanity. At this point, I, would I like to see Trump back in the White House? Possibly. Um, I sure as hell don't want to see Kamala because she's an absolute idiot. But at the same time, I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to register to vote this time. I really, really don't. 
um, just because it's kind of chalking up to be how, and I, I know people are like, well, you need to do your duty, you need a vote, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I've seen a lot of shit that came out last election, and there was mail-in ballots, there was ballot stuffing, both sides have got accused of having fake ballots, um, fake electors, so... At this point, I'm just going to watch and see what happens. Um, I The stuff with Trump, like I said, I, I don't. So I, I am a Trump supporter, but there's certain stuff. And because I don't follow it close enough, um, I'm not sure what's 100% accurate. And there's a lot of propaganda and there's a lot of stuff going around right now. Um. So I'm not entirely sure what's true or what's false, and I do not have the time to dig into everything because yikes. Anyway, I have my mental focus, and it's my house, the St. James stuff. There's going to be a lot of pushback. A lot of pushback, and there already is, against this trans crap, against the transgender agenda that is one. And people, like, it's, you saw in the comments the freaking narcissism on display. Well, you're obsessed. N no, you people don't want to leave kids alone. You want to invade w female spaces, biological female spaces, and then you guys want to mess with children. Get bent. People are tired of it. Parents are tired of it. Freaking government officials are tired of it. Of course, you have other sides pushing it uh, for various reasons and I'm not going to go into that because that goes into what's considered a conspiracy theories, uh, all the way from eugenics um, to pedophilia. I mean, take your pick. Anyway, that is what's been going on with me. I'm not entirely sure what where these people came from, and I don't care. So, if something does happen to my channel, I will tell you guys. Uh, I have Twitter, I have Facebook, Discord, whatever. Um, it's whatever. It really is whatever. There's no point of arguing with them. There's no point of trying to uh, reason with them. They're just, people are going to be angry regardless of what comes out because as you as i showed you the bma british medical association wants to pretty much get rid of the cast report they want to continue their experimentation on children and vulnerable people and they, they just lost a good chunk of their money that's profits when you have somebody who gets those surgeries they are attached to the government and big pharma for life for life, and they just lost a good chunk of their paycheck, and they are pissed. So, I'm going to leave at that. You guys have a good one. I will see you if something happens, or if I feel the need to make a video. Um, hopefully that doesn't come across wrong. I just, I really haven't felt the need to say anything. There's a lot of stuff going on, and a lot of stuff... Um, I can comment on, but it's not worth my mental energy. It's really, really not. I, I, I'm not even kidding when I'm saying it has been kind of rough on my end from car stuff, my job, personal stuff. I just don't have mental uh, fortitude right now. And there's stuff I'll, I'll look at in passing, cool, fine. But then I'll fall off of it for a week, and I don't even follow stuff all the way anymore. I just, it's too much. It's the same old shit, different people, whatever. Um, I just, it's whatever. So that's nothing to you guys, but I I'm going to keep doing me, regardless of what happens. Um, I am up trying to update maybe a few designs here and there, trying to flesh out uh, my host, as you see in the uh, left-hand corner of the screen, hollow in memory, hollows the black cat memories, the Siamese with the purple tulip. So that's what I've slowly, surely been working on. 
Otherwise than that, I'll see you guys hopefully here soon. Hopefully it's with something good. If not, just, you know, kind of stay with me here. It might get a little bit bumpy. So, yeah.